So hey guys, um, uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, I decided that, you know, it's probably time to do it again. For the past year it's been kind of hell. Uh, if you know what it's like to try and find nursing care for a parent, uh, you know what a nightmare that can be. Um, so it's been pretty difficult. And then now the pandemic's hit, so uh, that's made made it you know even harder. But anyways, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and everything like that. But anyways, uh, on to the video. Today we're going to talk about uh, the Delisle. I think I'm saying that right. It's uh, D-E-L-I-S-L-E. -E, uh, amp speaker selector. Um, the reason I wanted to do this video was is for the past Oh, I'd say about eight years ago, I bought a 4x4 uh, amp and cabinet selector switch from them, and it worked flawlessly, didn't have any issues with it. It's passive, no power needed or anything. And at the time, I only had like three amps and, and three cabinets, or maybe even only a couple, I can't remember. Um, but as, since then, I've gotten you know a lot more amps and uh, wanted to be able to plug my guitar into a unit like the Amp Heat or something like that and uh, select between the amplifiers and the speakers. Um, kind of like Henning Pauly does or many other YouTubers that, you know, uh, check out guitars and guitar amps, pedals, all that kind of stuff. Um, but for my uses, uh, it's mainly just in the studio. Um, now, there are not that many options when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, there's Ampeat in Germany, there's KHE in Switzerland, and then there's a company in Spain, I think. Uh, they're called Kahayan. Well, uh, Kahayan is a company that sells through either Zounds or American Music Supply. So I wanted to be able to finance it, so I went ahead and went with that because I didn't even know at the time that, that Delisle even made this. Um, so I went ahead and ordered it and um, I had to exchange it twice, uh, got it broken. It was really flimsy. They're just these little plastic pieces on the bottom that kind of hold together. It just seemed like it wasn't really well made. Um, and, uh, and it was noisy. There's no, I didn't find any way to get rid of the squealing or anything like that through all of the you know, recommendations that they made on how to improve it, you know, shorter cable lengths and things like that. Uh, nothing really worked. Um, so in my frustration, I went back to the drawing board and looked again, and I saw that Delisle actually had made a bunch more stuff. In fact, they make a ton of options for all sorts of scenarios. And they don't just make uh, this speaker selector, they make uh, amps, pedals, uh, guitars, guitar parts, uh, pickups, all, all kinds of stuff. And they do repair and all that stuff. And they're from the U.S. They're based in uh, Zionsville, Indiana. Uh, most, I, most of my dad's side of the family lives in Indiana, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I was, you know, I wanted to support this company in the first place. And when, when I went to look, I, I must have missed it. I, I don't know how I missed it. Uh, but uh, I'm glad I found them because uh, the Kahayan just it didn't work out. And that's not to talk bad about the company or anything like that. I'm sure it works for a lot of people. Tim Pierce uses their uh, 8x4 cabinet selector switch. What I bought was the MIDI one because I wanted one with an attenuator input. Anyways, which, which this has. But anyways, uh, the thing that really makes a difference is that this has a ground switch and that kills a lot of the noise. Um, but we're going to go through it. Um, talk about the pros and cons, uh, mostly pros. There's like really not any cons. I mean, they're mild, but we're going to go through it, um, show you kind of the features of it. Uh, I know this is kind of a niche thing. I mean, a lot of people aren't going to take this with them live. I mean, I, I don't know anybody who brings eight amps and eight cabinets with them live. Um, and if you do, you're a jackass, but anyways, uh, Let's uh, let's get to it. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, you've got uh, eight amplifiers to choose from. You've got an attenuator on and off switch. Uh, you've got a then eight speakers to select from, and then you've got a ground. 
just to give you an idea, um, one of the problematic amps that I had was my, uh, my Mesa Boogie, my dual rectifier. And uh, if you turn this ground off, lots of noise. Um, and with the Kahai end, that just, there was nothing I could do about that. There was, wasn't really anything I could do about it. Anyways, uh, so right now I've got it running through the aux, but I've also got uh, a Mesa 4x12, uh, a orange PPC 212, and then a Marshall 1960A lead cabinet uh, that I can select from. And uh, just to show you, uh, we'll start, this is a Soldano. Switch to the Marshall. This is the, my synergy through the Fryette Deliverance module. The Mesa. And I've got a Black Star. Anyways, um, so then I've got different, uh, the different cabinets right now. It's running through the aux. Uh, let's run it to the C. Marshall. This is the uh, orange. And my Mesa cabinet. Anyways, uh, so yeah, um, I can turn the attenuator off from here instead of, so if you have an attenuator that uh, doesn't have a bypass or anything like that, you can use this to bypass that, and this is gonna make it, you know, a lot. So, uh, so that's really great to be able to put that in the loop. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is uh, there's no uh, sort of tonal difference between running through this and out to your amp versus just plugging directly into your amp. So uh, let me show you that real quick. Uh, we'll just unplug this here and go straight into it. So straight into it, and go back into the amp, into the uh, Delisle. Now, if there is a difference, um, I'm not noticing it. I'm not. I'm not hearing any difference. Uh, it's really clean, really, really, really solid. Make the build quality is really good. Um, it's not terribly heavy. The switches feel good, nice and clicky, uh, but not cheap. The, you know, everything's really, really good. Um, the only downside is, is that uh, the power for it, there's no power switch. So if you've got it plugged in to, you know, you want to plug it into something that has a switch on it where you can turn it off, where you, where you can reach and unplug it uh, when it's not in use. Um, other than that, uh, um, they're, they're really, I mean, it's a fantastic unit. It works great. Um, the picture on the website is maybe a little bit different looking from, from this, but who, who the hell cares? I mean, it, it, it looks fantastic. It's real sleek and it's made in the U S you're, you're support supporting, you know, uh, local, if you're in the U S buy U S made, I mean, sometimes it's more expensive. Now, in this case, that is that that's that is not the case. This is this is only uh, six hundred ninety nine dollars U.S. for this. Um, if you were to, the the Kahayan equivalent is uh, the nine hundred ninety nine dollars U.S. Uh, amp heat's gonna cost you upwards of you know sixty af afterwards probably about two grand. KHEs probably closer to the Kahai end pricing, but uh, I, I hear their stuff is really, really good too. Um, uh, but anyways, those are really the only options. The cool thing about, um, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look in a second. We'll go to the website and I'll show you all the different options they have. It's crazy. They, they cover all the bases. Uh, this does not have effects loops to all your, your amps. And I didn't care about that because uh, I'm getting a Fryette, um, 
PS100 with uh, an effects loop in it, and that way I can use it as, as in the attenuator and use its, its effects loop to uh, you know use any effects that I want because some amplifiers do not have uh, good effects loops. Some don't have effects loops at all. So uh, they have a like a, a a 8x6 version, which has all of these features, but it also has effects loops uh, that you can run through. Uh, anyways, this is, this is all I needed, and uh, I'm absolutely ecstatic with it. It's a fantastic unit. I can't, uh, can't recommend it you know, highly enough. You know, it's, it's really, really good. And uh, really good customer service. It's lifetime warranty. Um, Jared, the guy, I emailed with him a little bit. Um, about the unit and just told them how, how happy I am with it and everything like that and that uh, I was going to do a YouTube video. Uh, the other thing is uh, they support local music. Uh, they sent a CD along with, uh, with the unit and uh, good instructions and everything like that. Uh, Justin Peter Kinkle Schuster, take heart, take care. Haven't listened to it yet, but I intend to. Um, I'm really, really happy with this company. I'm happy that there's a company doing uh, what they're doing in the in the U.S. You know, this giving this kind of option because uh, it's the only one I know of in the U.S. There might be another one, and if you do, definitely uh, drop it in the description or in the uh, comments or whatever. Uh, but I'll include links in in the in the description and all that stuff. Anyways, uh, so let's uh, let's take a look at the website and kind of and kind of wrap this up. All right, guys. So here's the Delisle uh, official website. Um, as you can see here, uh, they've got all sorts of stuff. They sell amps, uh, guitars, guitar parts, uh, pedals and switches, which is where we're looking at right now. Pickups. They do service and repair. Um, lots of really, really cool stuff on the site. But I wanted to focus on, you know, the pedals and stuff like that, um, and their switchers. Uh, so this is what I originally bought. Was this. Uh, Delisle, uh, it's a four by four uh, speaker selector, and it's really, really good. Uh, you wouldn't plug your guitar into it, it's just simply for switching between amps and uh, cabinets. And then they have one with uh, an effects loop. Um, they have, uh, this, this is the equivalent of what I have, except it's a four by four version, so it's the deluxe version. Um, so it has an attenuator, um, the, I don't know if it has a ground, maybe it has one on the back, I'm not sure, uh, let's take a look, um, not that I can see, um, anyways, uh, so then they've got, you know, an 8x8, 7x7 with a loop, and then here's the one that I got, $699, that's a great deal for this, um, now, when you look at, at the one that they sent to me, um, this, is, uh, this one doesn't show a, 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 you know, a ground switch on it, but uh, uh, it, it comes with one. So, so that's really cool. Um, also, it gives you eight speakers instead of four, which is what most companies give you, so that's pretty cool. Um, now, there's... Uh, the 4x4 Pro and then the 8x6 uh, Pro. And this one, you can see here, it, uh, it comes with uh, the effects loop uh, switch right there. So uh, lots of different choices, um, fantastic company. Um, I, I can't recommend them highly enough. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, go ahead and subscribe, uh, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Follow me on Instagram and all that stuff. All right, later.